everybody, Lammy here, and I am getting ready to pick apples off of the apple tree in my backyard because you guys said that you wanted to see it. So we have a basket here, and I'm not tall enough, so Mom's definitely going to be helping me. Oh, and by the way, if I look a little different to you, that is because I had a fresh, clean bath, and I went to Build-A-Bear and got restuffed. So, uh, yeah, I I'm much fresher now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I forgot to bring my camera to Build-A-Bear, so because of that, I wasn't able to film it, so I'm really sorry, guys. But anyway, that's why I look fluffier. So anyway, uh, I don't want to get dirty climbing up in this tree. Okay, guys, so there's a lot of apples here, and uh, I'm going to hold the basket, and I'm going to let Mom get them down. So it'll probably be easier that way. Okay, here, Mom. Here. Here's the basket. Well, Lammy, hold on a minute. Hold on. Okay, we have the basket. So, Lammy, you're going to be in charge of the basket, right? So here, take it. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. Mom. I got it, Mom. See? All right, so I'm going to start pulling apples, and we're going to put them in the basket. Okay, cool. All right, so we decided to find out on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook if you guys wanted to see us do this video because we weren't sure if you would be interested in watching us do this or not. But these apples need to come off this tree because they are ripe and ready to be eaten. So let's get started. Cool. Mom, this one looks like it has a butt. Lammy, we're not going to pick that one because see right there, see that hole? I can tell there's probably a worm or something in there. Gross, keep moving on. All right, let's go on to these. What about these? Uh, they look all right, pull them off. All right, Ugh. all right, there we go. This is a smaller one, but that's okay. This one I think I might leave on a little bit longer. All right, moving along. Here's one right here that looks mighty nice. Oh, yeah, check that one out, guys. That's a nice apple. Put it in the basket. Is the basket heavy for you? No, I'm good. All right, I'm going to pull this one down. See, guys, I can't reach up there, but Mom can. Yeah, see, look. There's a nice apple. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, Mom. All right, let's keep moving on. What about this one in here? All right, all right. Yep, that one looks like it's in good shape, so we will do that one. And we're gonna go around to this side here. Ooh, look at this big one. Ooh, that one's large. Oh, Mom, it has a twin. Look at that. What happened is they're sharing the same stem, so when I pulled this off, it accidentally grabbed that one as well. Oh well, it's okay. All right. Mom, how many do we have? Well, I don't know, you count them. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, including that tiny little nubby one. Nubby? Yeah, it's nubby. Okay, I don't want to pull that one off there because that one has like spider stuff. See the webbing and stuff? Ew! Yeah, we're not touching that one. All right, let's move on. What about this one? Is this one in good shape? I think so. Ew. Ew. What's ew? What? It's got some webbing in it. I'm afraid a spider's going to crawl out of it. Gross! Gross! Well, Lammy, it's okay. I don't see any bugs in there or anything. Maybe uh, we'll just wash it out. The rest of the apple looks okay. All right, we'll just wash it really well. Gross! What about that one right there, Lammy? Think that one's all right? Looks like it's all right. Oh my gosh. Couldn't get it off. Yeah, that one looks good. Yum, yum, yum. All right, ooh, there's one more over there. Oh, get around. Yeah, pass the one that looks like a butt. All right, we're passing the one that looks like a butt. No, 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 this is the same one with the spider stuff all over it. I'm not touching that one. Yeah, I don't want to touch that either. Is there any others? Are we missing any? Um, I don't think so, except for the one with the butt. There's some that are in there, but they're not ready yet. They're still, uh, they're not red yet. All right, Lammy, all right, let's do a final count because I think that is about as good as we're gonna get tonight. I don't see any more, do you? Nope, there's the creepy spider one, the ones that aren't ready, and the one that looks like a butt. Let me quit saying butt. Okay. All right, guys, there is our bounty from our, uh, from our apple picking expedition. Expedition, it wasn't that dramatic. Whatever, Mom, it was for me, it was pretty cool. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
plus the little nubby one. Haha. <laughs> All right, guys. So, anyway, there is uh, that. I posted a question asking if you guys wanted to see us do this, and you said yes. So, we did it. I'm also going to surprise you in this video and show you our vegetable garden and flower garden that we planted. So, yeah, let's get going. All right, guys. So, back here, you will see that we have growing here cucumbers. I like cucumbers and they've gotten quite tall since we purchased them and there's a mystery plant growing out of this dirt. Now these are the, the planter boxes. Remember remember the planter boxes when we bought the house that I told you about? We we're going to plant a vegetable garden. Well we've only used two of them so far. I'll show you the other one in a minute but that is the cucumbers and we're going to grow them up instead of along the dirt. And then over here these are going to be peppers like bell peppers and if you look really close guys really close you can see one starting to grow right there that white thing that is going to be where a pepper grows and then over here this sad little thing I don't think these things are gonna make it these are supposed to be snow peas or no no sugar snap peas but yeah they they're not doing so well I don't know what we did wrong that one's kind of growing though so maybe that one will live and then there's a mystery plant over here we don't know what it is it just started to grow up out of this dirt all right, guys, let's go to the herb garden. All right, so in the planter box across from there is the herb garden. So what we have here is spearmint, basil, rosemary. That is like, um, what's that called? Mom, what are those called? Chives. Chives? Yeah, garlic chives. Chives, you put them in food. And there's thyme. And then we're going to go over here. Go over here, go over here. This bee balm is what that plant is called, and it attracts hummingbirds and butterflies once it produces flowers. So it's doing really well. It's growing really well. And this sad little thing, this is uh, parsley, and this is what we had at the other house, and we brought it with us along with that thyme and those herbs over there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's starting to look a little better, so I think it'll be all right after a while. Look, Mystic came outside. She fell in the pool the other day, guys. I forgot to tell you that. I want to show you something. So we have a cover on our pool to help the evaporation so that way it doesn't evaporate as much. And she thought she could walk on that. As smart as she is, that was a stupid thing to do. So anyway, she fell in and Pops and Mom had to rescue her. So silly. So anyway, she has learned not to do that anymore. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I'm taking you over to the flower beds now flower beds we planted. We're not done with them yet, but uh, yeah, we like the way they've turned out so far. All right, guys, remember that pineapple plant that I planted like forever ago? It's still growing, guys. It's getting pretty tall, so we decided since we are now living here, we decided to plant it in the ground instead of a pot. And then we have these little little flowers here. We thought they were super cute. They're just little purple things, and we have this big plant that's going to be like a bush and this is called Mexican heather and I like it because I like the colors of the flowers and then that is a um, lavender bush that's going to grow and then we'll go over here these things are called moss rose and they produce little flowers like that and we thought that they were so cute um, some of the flowers have come and gone but that one's producing really well and then that is ivy that we actually brought back from Kentucky and then here we have some succulents. There we go. All right, let's go to the other one. The other one's over here. All right. All right, here's the other one. So this is the rose bush, which is starting to produce new leaves and things. And there was a rose there, but the petals just fell off. So anyway, yeah, this, this plant is doing very well. And then we have more of those purple things. Ooh, that one's really big. Look how big that one's getting. That's one of those things. And then this is actually from the other house. We brought it with us because we wanted um, to bring something from the other house with us. And this is ground cover. We don't know what it is, but it's growing really well. There's another one of those and more of those. And then this is a hydrangea bush and it's starting to produce flowers. <laughs> so pretty. And then we come over here. Guys, did you know that rosemary grows into like a tree? Look at this thing. It's huge. It's like a tree. So anyway, guys, yeah, that's the flower gardens in the backyard. Oh, one more thing I gotta show you. Come over here. See these pebbles? See them? They're just tiny little rocks 
we are going to put that where the dirt is. So we're going to put it on top of the dirt so it's going to look like pebbles. So it's kind of going to look like that except around the flowers. And we thought that would look really nice because the front yard is like that. It's a work in progress. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. You guys said you wanted to see it. So there you go. And uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe. I'm on my way to 10,000 subscribers, guys. And I want to thank you all so much for your support. And uh, yeah, so if you like my videos or want to see more, subscribe so you don't miss on anything. And you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Those links are in the description box below. So anyway, guys, I will talk to you next time. Bye.